everyone, I'm Sukiro3 and welcome to my new let's play of Pikmin. Uh, can't really think of much to say about this game. I guess it's just best if I go into it now and explain by showing. I guess. There we go. The impact site. My name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have passed, I must have passed out. I woke on the surface of a weird planet. So many parts lost the skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin's painful sight. And it is gone, I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate that this planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. However, support systems can function for only 30 more days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then, no, better not think about it. Let's find the missing ship parts. So, what are you supposed to do now? Well, Look around, I guess. Do stuff. No, we're supposed to go into this crop circle and awake this strange thing in the ground. And now it's red for some reason. And it popped out of the ground. And I have no idea what that is. A strange thing has appeared before me. I barely begun my search when it reared up. So they were waiting for me. Then dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? Resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we call an onion. Should I call this an onion too? So we're calling it onion too. So you literally just have to wait a little bit for this thing to pop up. And seed that the onion dropped took root in the soil and is now produced an adorable little sprout. The sprout emits a strange light that waves back and forth with the of the wind. I cannot help but think it just calling to me. I am compelled. I must approach it. Press A. We're already breaking the fourth wall. And it's a red Pikmin. I'm just going to say it right now. <laughs> Extraordinary. When I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature, not a plant. Pikmin has done no visible damage. Just stands there staring at me. Shapes similar to the Pikmin brand carrots I love so much. We must shall call this a Pikmin. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive, and yet I'm intrigued. And we have done no fighting yet. I shall research this fascinating creature. And controls. Pretty much. It's going over controls and stuff. I must survive. I need, familiar my, I need to familiarize myself with these controls and my surroundings. So pretty much, for say to throw the Pikmin, B to whistle them back, X is to dismiss them, and separate, and they separate into different groups and stuff. And Y is to bring up the map. C stick. Well, get into that later when we have more Pikmin. So, collect this little thing. And more sprouts. More seeds, rather. 
Astonishing, the onion has sown more seeds. The small red pellet the Pikmin harvested after cutting down a flower seems to be some kind of food that can propagate more Pikmin. The onion seems to be kind of an incubator. Needless to say, I'm, needless to say, I must study the strange life form more. Well, just pretty much kill as many of these damn flowers as you can, because you want more Pikmin. It's pretty much what the whole game is about. You're probably gonna want more Pikmin. <laughs> probably just. Just imagine, like, someone goes through the whole game with one Pikmin. I actually don't think that's possible, but whatever. Um. Another one of those. And. Once this guy, uh, comes back, can I uh, actually explain what the C stick does a little better? And, it, and any, if you. Pikmin will pretty much gather in whatever direction you press on the C stick, so. They can also be used to swarm enemies when you find them. So. Definitely come in useful. Or come in handy, rather. But just a little trick that you might want to know. If you have the Pikmin swarm around you and press A, you can press A as fast as you possibly want. Or poss if you like, normally if you spam A, you can only throw a Pikmin like that. But if you are to swarm the Pikmin into Olimar, you can actually throw a lot faster than normally than you would normally it's isn't really used honestly for much except speed rushing <laughs> so yeah I, I just I just brought up a speed running tactic for some reason um pellet and I do I ran straight into a wall. I don't think there's a pellet over here. Yep. Nothing there. Um. These guys back. And. Wait until these guys sprout up again. It's kind of annoying that you have to wait so long to get them to sprout up, but it's just how things go. So, call these guys, and probably wondering, well, what am I supposed to do now? See this box? You need at least ten Pikmin to move it, so... Um, thank you. Er okay, then. Pikmin are as curious as children. They perform groups. They form groups to ta to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. The glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall sum up all I've learned about Pikmin time. Pretty much is reviewing the controls. So. Yep. I should record all of these in my computer. I press Y to access the computer. And it didn't actually say what the little camera controls did earlier, but L places the camera behind you. R changes the... It zooms in and out. And Z is to put everything in a top-down perspective. So. something. Amazing, there's no mistaking it. My ship's engine risked before my very eyes. I struck of pure luck. I have already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me, but how will I get it back to the dolphin? Uh, gather more Pikmin? <laughs> no, really. Just gather more Pikmin. Get more stuff to make more Pikmin, pretty much. Let's see. Um, like 
character anymore. Oh. Um. Thank you. I don't think there are any more other than that, so... Point we're just kind of waiting around, doing nothing. You know what? I'm just gonna sh show you guys right now what you're actually supposed to do. You have to pick and carry it. You probably. You probably already knew that though. Many pigment seeds sprout at once. I find it rather tedious to pluck them from the ground individually. I right, fully said I was no good at routine tests. I guess I'll try to get it all done at once by repeatedly tapping A until I pick all the pigment from the ground. Notice that when I add pigment to the group, they become filled with excitement and fr flushed with bright color. At other times, they revert to a paler hue and give off a dim glow. Paying close attention to these differences found help me distinguish between Pikmin. Pretty much he's saying when Pikmin are in your group, well, you see what they look like right now, but if you dismiss them, they become a different color. But, anyway, call these guys. Come on. I was about to say, where are the five, the other five Pikmin, but I don't know why. Um, them all over here. Boom. And now we wait. And while we're waiting, I'm just gonna try to do something dumb. Now I'm not gonna be able to do it. Come on, they're almost back anyway. Move faster, please. Thank you. By the power of technology, it repairs itself. I think. Oh, glorious. With the help of these Pikmin, I've taken a huge step back toward home. The ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become of the remaining parts? That search starts tomorrow. So now the day ends. No, really. The day ends. And we gotta go pick them back into their onion. Time to take off. And the onion is following us for some reason. One day since impact, I've somehow managed to launch the dolphin. I was surprised to see the onion lift off with me. Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface? Or have they merely decided to join me for other reasons? Either way, it seems that they will help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't recover them all, I may never return to my family on planet Hokotate. Analysis shows that li the life support systems can only function for 29 more days. How can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? This force is visible on the surface below. This holds the key to my survival. I name it the Forest of Hope. I explore it tomorrow. And this is kind of an end chart to see, like, the change in how the... how many Pikmin you have. And... 
Pikmins. Lost in battle, pretty much the Pikmin killed in battle. Sprouted, well, it's, that one's kind of obvious, but left behind? We'll get into that soon, trust me. But for now, that's it. So, next time, Pikmin. We'll be exploring the Forest of Hope. See you then.